Hello everyone, I am Bedi Belkaranlık and I am studying mechanical engineering on the fourth grade and today I would like to talk about two main reasons why Kodak failed. But just before starting my presentation, I would like to ask a question to you. So is there anyone who knows what exactly it is? No one? So it's the very first digital camera invented by Kodak. So probably another question comes to our mind here. Even though Kodak invented the very first digital camera, how did they fail? In order to make it clear, we will focus on two main subtopics, which are being close to the changes and improvements and wrong marketing strategy. So let's start with being close to the changes and the improvements. So actually Kodak was very successful and it was one of the first companies in photography industry. And it was founded in 1888 and totally dominated the market until 1980s. However, in those years, those years, uh, they started to become myopic and product oriented instead of uh, focusing on consumers' needs. And its narrow-minded narrow corporate culture believed that its strength was in its brand and marketing. And they totally underestimated the threat of digitalization. Uh, another important point is Yes, they invented the first digital camera, invested in technology, and even understood that photos can be shared online. But where they failed was in realizing that online photo sharing was a new business, not just a way to expand the printing business. So yes, uh, they were close to the changes and improvements, but that was not the only reason, because they also followed the wrong marketing strategy, which is the second main reason. So first of all, they always uh, tried to sell more, more products because they were uh, dominating the market and uh, they, always uh, they always asked the wrong question themselves, which is how can we sell more? But the essence of marketing is asking first at what business are we in, not the one they asked. And the second strategy they did wrong is they were always persistent on selling analog cameras instead of marketing the new technology, even after the new digital products were reshaping the market. So at the end, Kodak uh, failed to adopt the new marketplace and they went bankrupt. Uh, so we can easily see the sharp decline of the Kodak in the market with the graph of digital versus analog camera uh, in the market. So let's have a look at the graph which shows analog versus digital camera uh, sales in the US. And actually this uh, graph was cited from Josh Fritz's article which was published in 2012. So in the, in the graph the x-axis shows the uh, years as you can see whereas the y-axis uh, shows the total amount of sales in million units. So we can easily, we can easily see the sharp decline uh, of the analog camera sales after 2000, whereas digital, digital camera sales has started to increase within this year. So, and the year 2012 was the when uh, Kodak went bankrupt. So even if this graph shows the analog versus digital camera sales, it also resembles the, sharp, the dramatical decline of the Kodak itself, especially the analog camera part. So to sum up, we have discussed two main reasons why Kodak failed today. And we can easily conclude from those two reasons that a company should always follow the innovations, improvements and changes and even, the pro even follow the proper marketing strategies to be able to uh, succeed in its industry or even to pursue its success. So that was the end of my presentation and here you can see my references and I will gladly answer your questions if you have any. Thank you.